So I'm here to talk to you about why your open source project should have a graphical user interface or GUI in addition to having a CLI and how you and your users can benefit from having both. I'm Risha. I'm a software engineer at Buoyant, and I work on Linkerd, which is an open source service mesh. This is a picture of me back in my blue days. So what I hope to tell you is that if you have a GUI in addition to having a CLI, you can pull data together to tell the users a specific story. You can improve your user experience by offering the user help, and you can get more open source contributors. And who doesn't want that? So as I said, I work on Linkerd. Linkerd has a CLI and a dashboard, and I work on both. So I'm going to use that as my examples. The Linkerd dashboard has gotten a lot of love on Twitter. And that's telling us that we are producing something that people find useful and that people like. So one of the cool things you can get when you install Linkerd is instant observability, so golden metrics about your service. Here I'm using Linkerd stat to get golden metrics about all my deployments in all my namespaces. And this is a pretty useful table. It has RPS, success rate, and latencies. Here's the same table in our dashboard. You can see the basic table structure is the same, but there's also a lot more stuff on this page. For example, there is a filter button. There are clickable column headers so you can sort by various data. There is tiny colored dots that let you see at a glance if something is amiss. And then there's a bunch of links. So there's links to Grafana, links to different namespaces, and links to different deployments. There's also a whole bunch of links in the sidebar to different words, and we don't know what they mean, but it is an invitation to us as a user to click around and explore, and also a hint that Linkerd provides you with a lot of features, and you should definitely check them out. So if I had a deployment in Kubernetes and I wanted to see how it was doing, there's a lot of things I might want to know about it. I would want to know its golden metrics. I might want to know stuff about its neighbors, so my upstreams and downstreams. I might want to know what's going on inside the deployment at some time. And in fact, we have created this page. So this is a page about a specific deployment. And you can see at the top, there's a topology graph. And it's showing me my golden metrics. There is a table in the middle of live requests through the system. And there's also inbound and outbound metrics. And in fact, the data we use to create this page is the data from this, these six CLI commands, but we've pulled it together to tell a specific story so that instead of running these six in parallel, in series, and not knowing, you know, having to piece it together in your mind, you can just have the whole picture right there. So the next thing I want to say is that a lot of GUIs have primitives that allow you to offer help to the user. And if you use these, you can guide the user through your product, and they will have a good time. Lastly, I want to talk about open source contributions. So Linkerd receives a lot of external contributions. And a lot of the times, new people to the project will come in and submit a small pull request to the dashboard before submitting a pull request elsewhere in the project. And I think this is because the dashboard code is easy to run, easy to understand, and a lot of people know JavaScript. So we don't just get Go and Rust contributions, but we also get JavaScript contributions. So that's more open source for us. So what I hope you've learned today is that if you have a GUI, even if you already have a CLI, you can benefit by pulling data together, telling a specific narrative, by helping your user, and by getting more contributors. So if you're thinking, oh, should I have a CLI or should I have a GUI, why not have both? Thanks.